<laughs> what is that? Why would you want to sound like that? Hold on. How are we doing, folks? Let's make a male Viera, shall we? So the Final Fantasy XIV benchmark has been released. Um, you can only pick the uh, the Midlander higher uh, for the default. But what we're going to do is we're going to go into the character creation for male Viera. Da -da 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 -da. Now, initial impressions, and what we'll do is we'll also um, we'll also run the benchmark itself and see how we do. My PC is all right; it'll do decent, but it's not going to do absolutely amazing. So, uh, we've got two types of Vieras clan. So we've got the Rava and the Vina. So let's have a read of this, shall we? So, Viera of the Rava clan. Oh, uh, Viera of the Rava clan live primarily in the Golmore jungle. Their umber skin allowing them to readily blend in with their surroundings. Though the males stand as wards for the forest, the females are adept hunters in their own right, fiercely guarding their homes and their young. Okay, so kind of like a, a trial thing going on. Despite attempts by the Damascians to subjugate them, they have ever maintained self-governing dominion, though most would adhere to the traditions of the wood. Some have chosen to venture. So they're forest folk. They're, they're nice, chilly little rabbit forest folks eating some grass, all that sort of stuff. Now let's have a look at the Vina. So here's a default difference between the Vina, uh, so you've got the different head and you've got the more human, I'm going to say humanoid looking uh, Viera. So what, what's the deal with these Vina? So fair skin, because uh, they live in snow-capped mountains, um, so they make their homes in the foothills of the Skate range, like the members of their sister clan, the Vina, so this is their you know, sister clan apparently. Um, Livers, hunters and gatherers, protect the woods, but to nurture them so they're looking after the forest. You know, any construction workers come in trying to cut it down. Like that scene in Doctor Doolittle. Was it Doctor Doolittle 2 where they're trying to cut down the forest? And he saves all the animals? Yeah, a bit like that. There's uh, a window well, so it's on the mountain. Many okay. Um, initial impressions. Um, I kind of, if I, you know, sometimes I try the new race. Like if you saw my expansion playthrough, um, last year not last year last two years I, I usually stream a little bit of the expansion it's kind of tradition uh, just for myself just to have the the recordings there i played a bit of frothgar so i might play some male viera for a little bit and then eventually go back to lola initial impressions i kind of do like the rava on how they're kind of looking so we're going to go with this one and we're going to uh, customize them so mm -hmm. so the shortest is 172 and the tallest is 186. Okay, let's do... Let's go tall. Let's go to skin color. So, lots of shades uh, that are more sort of uh, darker in value, uh, which is awesome. Um, I guess the other one is lighter in value to, to reflect like the the snowy mountain stuff they're on about. Uh, let's go with... Hmm... I do like the default. Let's go a bit like that. Hairstyles. Now, how will this play with the... So, this is the helmet hairstyle, which I believe female Viera also have. So, let's have a look at it without the actual headdress sort of thing. Interesting. Yeah, you can see what they've probably done is the, the ears are probably just stabbed into the head uh, from a 3D point of view, but they've got these little... Yeah, they've got these little tufts of hair that are hiding the transition, so it's pretty clever in that regard. Um, uh, yeah, that's cool. So, ooh, that looks cool. Oh, that's pretty cool. That looks nice. I wonder... Ooh, I like that mini headdress there. Yeah, that's cool. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with the mini, the mini headdress. I think that looks pretty cool. Hair colour. Let's be super edgy. And go white. Face options. So we've got like this angry looking face. Yeah, we're not, don't even know what that sort of face is, but okay. Um, ooh, that. That looks a bit weird. Um, doesn't make, <laughs> doesn't make much sense, but the beard shape's cool, but the face looks a bit conflicting. A very baby face, but then a, a manly beard. Ooh, yeah, these... This face looks the best. These faces look a bit weird. 
Oh yeah, don't like that. We'll go with this face. Jaw. Uh, let's get the side profile. Uh, so just, mm, yeah, I like the third one. I think, yeah, the third one. Eye shape. So unimpressed. Not me with this. This is unimpressed. Unimpressed. Uh, more cautious. Hmm. So very. There we go. Very scorning looking guys. These uh, these pouty boys have. Iris size. We'll go with big. Eye color. We'll go with black. Eyebrows. Super angry. Yep. Nose. So it's got a bit of a broken nose at the moment. Ooh, that's a very a small nose there. Big nose, big slong. I'm going number one. Mouth. A bit more puckered up. Less puckered up. A bit more pouty. To usually change the. Oh, ears. Okay, so we've got big boy ears, floppy boy ears. Big boy ears too, and stubby ears. Um, yeah, helmets aren't going to work with this, you can already tell. <laughs> um, let's go with that, smaller. Small ears are inherently the best. Same for Lalafels. If you've got long ears on Lalafell, oh, can't be dealing with it. So we've got a bit of a shaded nose. The eyebrows get bushier. Oh god, what is that? Yeah, I don't like that. Uh, it looks very angry. That looks cool. I like that. The little tattoos. Some eyeshadow. Let's make the tattoo colour black or dark. Or maybe white. I don't know, actually. See if we can... We'll make it white. They definitely look really cool. Um, they do. They look much better than uh, male Makote, that's for sure. Um, face paints, pretty much standard. Nothing new here. Uh, face paint color, yeah, and voices. Right, let's do the voices. Let's hope we don't have what happened last expansion, where was it? Female Vieira had the granny voice that they had to fix. So let's have a listen of some of these voices. <laughs> well, that sounds terrible. Uh, let's try number two. That sounds even worse. Okay, let's try number three. Better, but still weird. Let's try number four. Mm, not so bad. It's five. Yeah, that's okay. Number six. Six sounds, yeah, pretty decent. Oh, no. It sounds out of breath. Oh. Oh, man. That voice selection isn't the best, is it? What was that really weird voice? Was it voice two? What is that? Why would you want to sound like that? Hold on. Oh, God. It's so bad that we have to go with it. It's so bad that we have to go with it. Right, there it is. The benchmark male Vieira. If it lets us pick it. Uh, don't save... Oh, I guess I have to save it. Yeah, okay. Um, goofy sounding Vieira. Let's go with that. I think I'll get a medium score for um, for the benchmark. My PC is okay, but it's not amazing. Um, and let's have a gander. Ooh, ooh, job gear, job gear. Yes, we can change job gear. So these are the new gears we saw in the benchmark. Nice, okay, so there's Paladin. Pretty cool. Uh, there's the Vieira race gear, which looks really good, actually. I like this. This looks really good, especially if you can dye it. 
Uh, these are the gears we already kind of know about. We know about that. We know about that. Are we not going to... Yeah, I don't think we'll have access to the warrior gear, will we? It's good to see what some of this gear looks like on the new model. Um, I really like the proportions. I, I really do like the proportions of Viera for the gear. I think it looks really good. Yeah, these look cool. Uh, is there anything new here? Hmm. That looks pretty good. I've not actually seen that set before. I've seen that one. Pretty good. Um... Oh my god, look how chunky the boots are. <laughs> that looks a bit weird. Omega, yep, seen that. Genji, seen that. Hellhound. Wait, why have they added the Hellhound gear? That worries me. Is the Hellhound gear going to be accessible now? They look pretty good. You notice how the helmet isn't loading up, so maybe the helmet won't work. I don't know. Hellhound looks pretty good on them. That looks funny. Yeah, I mean, they've got a decent proportion for a lot of the gear, so... Is there anything else in here that we wouldn't have seen? Um, yeah, that doesn't look very good. Yeah, the big bulky armor looks a lot better than the... Um, the really form-fitting armor. And for some reason, they have a... <laughs> they have a really... <laughs> Have a really chunky belly, <laughs> really maldeformed at the bottom here with the pig suit. Let's go with the Hellhound armor since uh, we've actually got that one. Yeah, confirm. All right, let's see how we do, folks. So I uh, I skipped past all of the uh, benchmark because you've already seen me react to it and give my impressions, and this is how we scored with pretty much everything on max. I think with LODs, no LODs were off. Um, occlusion culling was on. And we got a very high, which, you know, nice and respectable. So um, it should run all fine and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, let me know what your score was. Post your scores below in the comments and um, have fun with the character creator. You know, mess around with your character, mess around with uh, the male Vieira. And I'll see you guys in the next one. But for now, I am out.